Hi guys, how are you doing? So, um, today's question, the video is, you know, what to do with adult students, uh, or sometimes even kids, who uh, say that they prefer learning uh, by learning grammar, and they say they want to learn all these grammar rules, and they think, you know, they say they prefer that's how they learn. So, what do you do? So, uh, first thing with anything like this is always, you know, we've got to figure out why, why they're saying it, and then we've got to try and find out how to, how to fix it, yeah? So, if an adult's saying that, then it could be a couple of things. You know, it could be just that that's what they've always learned. You know, that's what they're taught in school. And because we all know how that works out, everybody, how, how many, so many fluent people come out of the school system. Um, too. But very often it's because it's a coping mechanism and grammar is seen for a lot of people as the easy way out. Because, you know, learning a language is hard. Uh, learning to speak a language is hard. You've got to speak it. Uh, you've got to speak it in front of other people. It's scary. You've got a ton to learn. And if you make mistakes, you know, if you don't have the right mindset, you know, some people think that mistakes are scary and they get scared by that. And especially introverts, you know, I'm an introvert as well. Um, if you're an introvert, talking to other people you know, drains your energy. So you want to try and do everything you can to um, not, not drain your energy. Uh, and just people in general, they want a shortcut. So for a lot of people, you know, grammar is a shortcut. Because it could be, you know, it's, uh, you can do all this hard work, learn all this stuff, do all this hard stuff of speaking to other people, or you can just sit down with a book and pretend you're learning and just do these exercises and you'll be fluent, hey! And they sort of sold themselves on that idea. So, how to fix that? You know, it's just, just, that's just normal part of the human brain. The human brain wants the easy way out, yeah? So, for example, if you were doing exercise and some, you know, your doctor said, um, okay, I want you to do 100 push-ups and 100 sit-ups every day. Your brain would go, what? Whoa, 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 I'm not doing that. That's absolutely crazy. Um, and then your brain would think, well, okay, is that really true? So shall, let me learn about push-ups and let me learn the rules of sit-ups and things like that. And I'll do that, I'll do that. And your brain tries to do everything it can to get out of doing the work. Because that's what the back of my brain does. Okay, so how do you fix that in real life for exercise? You know, you said you bring people a swimming pool. And instead of saying 100 sit-ups and 100 press-ups, you say, uh, play around in the pool for a few hours. Or if we're talking about kids, then you see over there, it's go play on those toys over there and then do the running around and the exercise. And they get the exercise that way, learning the skill, doing the thing they need to do um, by playing and making it fun. So that's what we've got to do with our lessons as well. We've got to make sure we incorporate all the grammar in the lessons, but not all the grammar rules, just actually teaching in sentences. And then if you do, you know, still have a few of those people who still uh, say, no, oh, I need all the rules and stuff, you can just take a few seconds at the beginning. You know, when you go to the gym and they have a poster on the wall and it shows you what muscle groups you're working. So if you do push-ups, you do this little stuff, blah, blah, blah. But that's just a few seconds at the beginning. And then the rest of it is all the practice, all the speaking practice, all the push-ups and stuff. So that's the deal, is understand why it happens It's because most humans want the easy way out and, you know, doing these grammar exercises is an easy way out. Your brain thinks it's doing work when it's not. Uh, and then the next thing is just appease that, give them a few seconds, just quickly explain it, and then bang, straight into doing lots and lots of practice. The real hard work, but if you make it into a sport or if you make it fun and games, songs, etc., then it becomes fun. So we do it without even thinking and then we enjoy the lessons at the end of it which is pretty cool. Yeah, you know, sometimes then you will have students saying, oh, it's because of that one minute at the beginning of the grammar bit, that's what, that's what did it. Um, but you'll know the real reason why they're learning. Cool. Um, so there you go. So just be careful of shortcuts and stuff. And if you're a teacher as well, and you're thinking, you know, oh, I really need to teach grammar and stuff. Remember, that's just your brain telling you to take the easy path because the more difficult path, the harder path of really speaking to people is a lot more difficult, but so much more worth it at the end of the day. I'm Richard from Genki English. Catch you later. Bye-bye.